terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Why are they covering for Joe Biden in 2018? He was one of a number of people who was talking about running against Trump in 2020, but he was still at the bottom of the heap. Why are they covering that? I don't get it. There's another piece to this we don't have, Lee. I get why they started doing it once he was the nominee. That's their job. A bet and, a, and, and aid and a bet Democrat crime cover it up, censor anyone who talks about it. We get that. But why? Why 2018? Why are you protecting this guy when he's out of office? Why are you protecting his family when he's out of office and shows no signs that he'll be the nominee? He, again, was at the bottom of the heap in terms of polling. Was no. Joe Biden pre-selected by these people? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's a piece missing here. I can't make it work. Interesting question. No. Yeah. Yeah, there's, well. <laughs> just. But, but what investigative um, questions are we getting from the national media? Nothing. Oh, they're Absolutely utterly uninterested. Nothing. They're utterly uninterested. I just think it's fascinating that um, our FBI law and Department of Injustice sure can find the money transfers oh, yeah. from Patrick Ho, the yeah. spy chief of China, as described by Hunter Biden and his business partner, as described by Hunter Biden. And they can try the guy using those transactions, but not the people taking the bribes. Yeah. And we're supposed to believe Hunter's just, you know, this lovable crackhead. You just you can't hold him responsible for anything. I am. Um, I just don't know, but I don't know how we go forward as a, as a country Lee, at this point. I'm not sure we're going forward anymore. Tara. I don't I don't think I, we I are think either. we're at the, the, the very best stagnant. If not in decline. It's very scary because it makes you wonder what else is going on. And, and as I said yesterday, just as I've laid out the segment, segment, ask yourself this question. If the FBI and the DOJ would cover this up, facilitate it and allow it. Would they let the Democrats knowingly let the Democrats cheat in an election? I'm not even talking about in 2020. I'm, I'm talking about the future. Do Democrats know they can cheat in an election, get away with it? Because if you would cover up this level of bribery and corruption, you'd let them cheat in an election, wouldn't you? You'd cover it up, go after those who brought it up on fake charges. I mean, that's their MO, right? I mean, I guess the question now that we need to be asking is not just what's happened in the past, Lee, to me. What does... What are the limits now for Democrats? Are there any? <laughs> I'm not aware of any at this point. Yeah, because if you, again, if you'd cover this up, you, you'd you let them cheat in an election. If you had evidence, you'd bury. By the way, speaking of, let's go back and remember this, shall we? Remember when we were told that the FBI investigated the evidence of election fraud? Yeah. And, and, and it, was, it was on the up and up. It was all okay. And then we found out that they uh, had just... Uh, the, the the guy who did that was the same one who launched the Russiagate investigation mm -hmm. inside the FBI. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. And then remember in that same week, we got the video of the guy. We got the shots of the guy leaving the FBI with his box because he had to go. Yeah. This was the same guy also inside the FBI who, remember, was walling off evidence of Hunter's crimes from other FBI agents who were investigating them so they couldn't see it because these were digital files. You had to log in to get them and they would know, the FBI would, if you were an investigator investigating Hunter, they would know if you saw the evidence. You were not allowed to see the evidence of the crime. That was the guy who walled it off. He did all three of those things. We were lied to and told he investigated the election. He did not. He knew that there was no evidence against Trump for Russia collusion, but launched the investigation anyway and then hid the evidence of Hunter Biden's crimes. And that's why he was forced to leave. They didn't want to fire him because that'd be an omission of guilt. So he just walked out. You remember that week? Oh, yeah. Then you remember Crooked Bill Barr, another one of Trump's horrendous appointments, um, coming out and telling us, oh, don't worry, the FBI has investigated the election and we know there's no fraud. And we found out there's no investigation. I mean, think about all this. I Just to, just to recap and bring it up, now that we know Russia was a hoax, Russia Gate was a hoax. And now that we know that they always knew that the DOJ knew that the FBI knew that everybody knew that kind of mind boggling, isn't it? Mm, definitely. It is. Terrorists want it here. The Terra show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9 WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.